Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. SSET English Town. Today we are doing a lesson for reading, a 2A. So this is a 2A reading lesson for Monday, Wednesday, Friday class. Today we are doing the reading workbook. And the book that we are reading at the moment is In a Dark, Dark Room. So before those of you who are watching at home start to do this lesson, please make sure you have your two books ready. So we can uh, all do the lesson together. So make sure you have these two. If you don't have your books ready now, just press the pause button, go and get your books and come back and then start the video. All right, so let's get into it. Today we are doing 2A reading. We are starting on page 47 of the reading workbook. So page 47. So let's go to page 47. All right, so we've got a couple of questions that we need to answer about the book. All right, so it's about the book. So let's do question number one first. Question is, number one, question number one, down the bottom here, question number one. What was Ruth spending with her cousin Susan? So what does spending mean in the term, in this sentence? What does spending mean? Remember, we did this in our vocabulary as well. So if you're unsure of the words in the sentences, make sure you go back and look at your vocabulary. All right, so what does the word spending mean in that sentence? What was Ruth spending with her cousin? Vacation. Yeah, exactly. She was doing her vacation. So answer is Ruth was spending her vacation with her cousin. Now, when you write the answers for reading, it's very important that you write the full answers. Full answers should explain what the question is in your answer. Okay, so let's write the first question. So the question was, where was, uh, sorry, the question was, where was Ruth spending? What was Ruth spending with her cousin Susan? So let's write a full answer. Ruth was spending her, what was the answer? Okay. Vacation, exactly. Ruth was spending her vacation with her cousin. So make sure you write a full answer. A full answer should explain what the question is. So number one, Ruth was spending her vacation with her cousin. All right, very good. Let's move on to question number two. Question number two. What did Susan tell Ruth about? What did Susan tell Ruth about? Now remember, all the answers are in the book. All the answers are in the book. If you need to refresh your memory before you answer the questions, go back and read the book. All right, so what was... What did Susan tell Ruth about? What did Susan tell Ruth about? Who is Susan and who is Ruth? Cousin. Susan is Ruth's cousin, exactly. This story is from the pirate. So we're talking about the pirate story. The pirate story on page 50. All right, so let's refresh from the book, from the story. Okay, so can you read question, uh, page 51? Page 51. Good. So what did Susan tell Ruth? Yes, she told her about what kind of pirate. What happened to the pirate boat? He died in the house. Great. So let's write the answer. Remember to write a full sentence. So the question is, what did Susan tell Ruth about? So how can we write a full answer, a full sentence? 
Put Susan. Told Ruth. We use past tense. Susan told Ruth that what happened? Correct. A pirate died. Good. A pirate died in the same room. The same room that Ruth was staying in. Okay, so here we go. That was your question. Question number two. What did Susan tell Ruth about? Susan told Ruth that a pirate died in the same room that Ruth was staying. Alright, good. Alright, question number three. Question number three. In the beginning, in the beginning, do you think Ruth believed Susan's story about the earth? Did she believe her? Why, why do you think she didn't believe? She said, I don't believe in God. Well, she said exactly those words. She said, I don't believe in God. So there's your answer. All right, so let's go. Right, answer number three. Question is, in the beginning, do you think Ruth believed Susan's story? All right, so how can we write the answer in a full sentence? In the beginning, in the beginning, how can we finish the sentence? So in the beginning, Ruth did not believe in God. In the beginning, Ruth did not believe in God because, how do we know? How do we know? She said, yes. Alright, question was, in the beginning, do you think Ruth believed Susan's story about God? So we made a full answer here. In the beginning, Ruth did not believe in God because she said, I don't believe in God. Alright, why do we have these two here? Why do we have these? The character in the book is talking, alright? So we're just writing exactly what the character said. Good. All right, let's move on to question number four. Question number four. When Ruth went into the room, why was she a little scared? Why was she scared? Have a look in the book. Why was she scared when she went into the room? All right, let's read from the book so we can remind ourselves about what happened, okay? All right, can you read page 52? So the flash of her tire comes in her room where they are reading. Before she sat in the bed, her mouth was filled and the air. Good, so the page is. But the thought of a pirate haunting her room scared her a little. Before she got into bed that night, Ruth looked everywhere. So page 52 and 53. All right, page 53. She looked under the bed and under the rug. Next page, in the closet and in the drawer, behind the dresser and behind the curtain. And anywhere else a ghost might hide. But she did not find a thing. Right, so the question is, question number four, when Ruth went into the room, why was she a little scared? Why? Um, 
So she kind of thought that there was still, or there might be a pirate here, didn't she? All right, so let's write our answer. The thought of a dead pirate. The thought of a dead pirate. Haunting her room scared her. All right, just to remind, just to remind the question number four. When Ruth went into the room, why was she a little scared? The thought of a dead pirate haunting her room scared her. All right, let's move over to page 48, 48. Page 48 in your workbook, question number five. Before Ruth got into bed that night, what did she do? Before she got into bed, what did she do? Yeah, she looked everywhere. Why did she do that? Why did she look everywhere? She was still a little bit scared, wasn't she? All right, so let's write our answer. So question number five. Let's write a full answer. So before she got into bed, but before she got into bed, she looked everywhere. Where did she look? In the book, it tells you where she looked. So where did she look? She looked under the bed. Under the rug. Under the rug. In the closet. In the closet. Good. And in the drawer. Good. And in the drawer. All right. Question number five was: Before Ruth got into bed that night, what did she do? Before she got into bed, she looked everywhere. She looked under the bed, under the rug, in the closet, and in the drawer. So she was still a little bit scared. That's why she looked everywhere. All right, good answer. Full sentence, good answer. Okay. All right, so let's go to the next question. Let's look at question number six. Did she find anything? Who is she? Ruth. Ruth. Did she find anything? Did Ruth find anything? No. How do you answer in a full sentence? Good. No, she didn't find anything. No. She didn't find anything in the room. The question again, number six. Did she find anything? Make sure you look in the book. If you, can't, if you don't remember the answer, make sure you read the pages. Answer is no, she didn't find anything. At all. She didn't find anything at all. Alright, let's go on to question number seven. Question number seven, page 48. Question number seven. Now, this exercise we have to close our book. So close your book. Close your book. Make sure you close your book, no cheating, close your book. Question number seven in your book, page 48. Close the book and fill in the blank spaces. Now we have to change the underlined words, change the underlined words to past tense. We have to use past tense now. Alright, so let's start. The first word is yawn. Ruth 
yawn. What is past tense for yawn? Yawn. Good. So all we have to do is add. Just add ed. Good. So. Quickly, what is yawn? Yawn? Yes, when you're tired, you yawn. Okay, good. So, that's the first one. Yawn, change to past tense is yawn. ED. Second one, Ruth, yawn and stretch. Stretch. Past tense of stretch? Stretch, same. Just add ED. So, stretch. Stretch. Add ED. Stretch. Good. So Ruth yawned and stretched and get, past tense of get? Got. 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 Ruth yawned and stretched and got into bed. Next sentence. She turned. Turn. Past tense of turn. Turn. How do you spell turn? One N or two N? One N. One N. Turn. Ruth turned off the light and snuggled. Snuggled. What is snuggle? Do you remember from your vocab? Snuggle. Yeah, to find a nice place where you are sleeping. To find a comfortable place. Right, so she turned off the light and snuggled. What is past tense of snuggle? Mm -hmm. Snuggle. Good. All you have to do is add D. Mm -hmm. Good. Snuggle. Good. She turned off the light and snuggled under the covers. All right, last sentence for question number seven. Last sentence. Just as I think, think. So what is past tense for think? Thought, thought, good. Think, thought. Just as I thought, she say, past tense of say. Said, good. Just as I thought, she said to herself, there is no one in the room but me. No one in the room but me. Question number eight. Who do you think me is? When she says that in question number seven, who is me? Yeah, it's talking about herself. So me is Ruth. So question number eight. So me is Ruth. Very simple answer. Me is Ruth. Me is Ruth. Question number eight. Alright, question number nine. Now we have to describe the ghost of John. Describe the ghost of John. Now this is a different story. This is the last story in the book. So let's just quickly read the story to remind ourselves of what happened. This one is a very short story, very short story. So the ghost of John, the ghost of John, page number 16. Have you seen the ghost of John? Long white bones and the flesh all gone. Ooh, wouldn't it be chilly with no skin on? Here he is here. So what do you call this? What do you call this? It's a skeleton. And what are all these little yellow pieces of his skeleton called? Bones. They're all your bones. Good. So the question is, describe the ghost of John. Describe. So you have to write about or say what he looks like. So what does he look like? He has long white bones. He has no flesh. And no flesh. Good. So, question number nine. Now we have to make a full answer, full answer. So, the ghost of John has 
long white bone and its flesh all is all gone. So he has no flesh. The ghost of John has long white bone and he has no flesh. Correct. What is your flesh? What is your flesh? Yeah, it's your skin. It's your skin. What holds your body together? Your skin. All right, so question number nine. The ghost of John has long white bone and he has no flesh. Question number ten. Question number ten. Question number ten. Why would the ghost of John be chilling? What is chilling? Chilling. Cold. cold, yeah. So why would he be cold? Yeah, he doesn't have any skin. He doesn't have anything to keep him warm. So how would you make a full sentence and a full answer? So who is he? Who is he? The ghost of John. Good. So the ghost of John would be chilly because he has he has no yeah. flesh to keep him warm. Excellent. Good job. Good job. So quickly just recap question number 10. Why would the ghost of John be chilly? Why would he be cold? The ghost of John would be chilly because he had no flesh to keep him warm. No skin. No skin to keep him warm. Alright, so that is the last question. That is the last question, question number 10. However, we have one more thing we need to do. Open your mind. Open your mind. Alright, this is about talking. So, question number one, open your mind. Why did Susan tell Ruth the story? Why did Susan tell Ruth about the ghost story? Why do you think she did that? Prank her? Like play a joke? Why else do you think? So one answer we had was she wanted to break her, like play a joke. So why else do you think Ruth told her the story? Why do your friends tell you scary stories? And what are they trying to do? Yeah, they're trying to make you scared and probably nervous before you go to bed. Alright, so good answer. Good answer. Alright, question number two, open your mind. Do you think there was a ghost? Do you think there was a ghost? Yes. All right, you said yes. Why? There is a ghost? All right. It's very important to have a look at the story here. Because what happened at the end of the story? This is the pirate story. So what happened at the end of the pirate story? When Ruth got into bed, remember? She said something. After she had a look around, she had a look under the rug, behind the door, in the drawers. She was checking because she was a little bit scared that there might be a ghost there. And then she said something. What did she say? Yeah, so after she looked in all the places, she said, there is no one in this room but me, and she got into bed. But then what happened? A big voice said, and me. So who said that? There was a ghost. Yeah, so that kind of proves to us that there was a ghost. So there was a ghost in that room after all, wasn't there? Your book's a little bit different to mine, though. Same story, different picture. But so the question was, do you think there was a ghost? So, what do you think? Was there a ghost? We say yes, yes, here. Yeah. We agree that there was a ghost. But, 
Question two also says, who else could the voice have belonged to? Aha! Uh -huh. But maybe it wasn't a ghost. Was it somebody else's voice? Yeah. Oh, could be, yes. It could have been Susan. Because she was telling Ruth to make her a little bit scared before she went to bed, and Ruth was looking at her. And then she said, oh, there's no one here, it's just me. Do you think Ruth was, like, listening? Um, who else do you think it could have been? Do you think it could have been her cousin? Or do you, are you sure it was a ghost? Ghost? Ghost or cousin? Cousin Susan. What do you think? What do you think? Could have been a ghost or it could have been Susan. They're probably the only two people there that could have answered that like that, wouldn't they? Alright, very good, excellent. So make sure when you're completing your workbook, make sure you have a look at the open mind book, open mind section, because it lets you think about either the things that are in the story or other things that you can relate to in your life. Okay, that is all we have time for, for today's 2A reading lesson. If you need to go back and answer any of the questions, make sure you press pause, read the book, so you remember the story before you answer the question. And remember, as we say at SACT English Town, today a reader, tomorrow a reader. Okay, so we have finished. Open your mind. Okay, we have one more page to do. So let's do page 49. Page 49 is true or false. True or false. What is true? True is real. Yeah, something that is real, that is right, correct. What is false? Not correct. Not correct, wrong. Okay, so let's do page 49. Last page for this lesson, page 49. Number one. Number one, when there is real danger, real danger, feeling scared is fun, yeah? yeah. Oh no, why? Why? Real danger, yeah, it means that something could happen to you. You could get hurt or somebody else could get hurt. So that's definitely not fun. So, true or false? Number one, true or false? False. False, false. good. Number one. False. Alright, question number two, true or false? When the boy saw the man with long teeth, he grinned at the man. Alright, firstly, grinned is in our vocab. What is grinned? Grinned. Oh, very good. Toothy smile. Toothy smile. So question two, when the boy saw the man with the long tooth teeth, he grinned at the man. He grinned at the man? No. No. What did he do? Yeah, he was scared, so he ran away. So, true or false? False. 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 Number two, false. False. Good. All right, question number three. Question number three. The woman in the graveyard was very short and very fat. Was she short and fat? She was. True or false? True. True. Good. True. Excellent. Question number four. In the story, The Green Ribbon, Jenny was like all the other girls except for one thing. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, true or false? True. All right, it's true. Let's look at the question. Jenny, in the story, The Green Ribbon, Jenny was like all the other girls. She was, yeah? Yeah. Except for one thing. What was that one thing? Yeah. Why? Why did she wear the green ribbon always? To keep her head on her shoulders. To keep her head on her shoulders, yeah. Otherwise it would have fallen off. Right, so the answer for question four, true. Right, question number five. Question number five. Alfred liked Jenny. But he didn't want to marry her because of the green ribbon around her neck. Is that right? No, how do we know it's wrong? 
Yeah, he married her, so he must have liked her. He loved her. So true or false? False. It is false. Number five. False. False. Good. Question number six. In the story, in a dark, dark room, the ghost was in a dark box. Is that true or false? The ghost was in a dark box. Correct or incorrect? Yeah. Correct, yes. But question number six is true. In the story, what is the box that the ghost was in? It's a chest. Where was the chest? It was in a dark, dark cupboard, and the cupboard was in the room. So, box, chest, same thing. So, number six, true. All right, number seven. In the story, the night it rained. The boy named Jim had died about a one year ago. No, false. Well, we have true and false. Okay, who is Jim? He's the little boy. What's the story about? Ah, uh, a car stopped to pick him up because it was raining and he offered to give him a ride. So he got in the car. But what happened when the man gave the little boy his jumper and he said, I will pick it up tomorrow. So the man driving the car went to the boy's house to pick up the jumper. What did mum say? Jim had... Okay, if we're not sure, look at the book, look at the book. Yes, mum said Jim had died. A year ago, about a year ago, almost a year ago. Alright, so let's look at the end question again. Number seven, in the story, the night it rained, the boy named Jim had died about a year ago. True or false? He died about a year ago. So the answer would be true. true. Good. Excellent. All right, number eight. Question number eight. The driver couldn't find his sweater at all. Same story, the night it rained. The driver couldn't find his sweater. Is that true or false? False. False. Why is it false? He found, he found his sweater in the cemetery. Correct. So, answer is false. false. Good. All right, question number nine. In the beginning part of the story, the pirates, Ruth believed in the ghost that Susan had talked about. Did she believe in the ghost? No, she didn't. Because she said in the book, I don't believe in God. So the answer is false. Oh. It's not true, not correct. False. All right, last one, question number 10. In the story, the ghost of John. The ghost of John had long white bone and its flesh was all gone. True or false? True. True, it is correct. So the answer is true. Okay, that finishes our 2A reading lesson for today. So we did page 47, 48, and true and, true and false for page 49. Alright, that is the end of our lesson for reading. Remember our motto at SSCT English Town. Today a reader, tomorrow wow. a leader. Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. SSET, English Town.